Hey everybody, it's Chris from uh, LEDReef.com here again with the Maglev Rock. So, magnetic levitating rock. It's pretty cool stuff here. they got different shapes. We've got uh, a rock protrusion, as you can see. We've got uh, neodymium magnets on the back. Uh, Fiji Premium Live Rock. We've got uh, some shelf action here. Very cool. And then we've got uh, some plates, so this is kind of what they have to offer. And uh, I'll show you how it works because it's pretty sweet. So, pretty simple concept, very similar to the Coralia pumps. Put the rock in, hold it up against the glass. We've got these super strong epoxy covered uh, neodymium magnets. And you match it up with the magnet on the back side. Set it there. It's magic! Okay, you also have these very cool plates to cover up overflow boxes. Uh, you can use my frag tanks to stick on the side and increase your growing area. Now the tricky part about these is the magnets. They're super high powered. Each one is about 14,000 gauss with an 18 pound hold strength. So they are really, really, really strong. Uh, you have to be careful because uh, you get your finger pinched in there or something, it hurts really bad, so caution, caution. Uh, anyway, so to kind of show how it works on the back side, if you take this guy, stick it up against the glass, now it'll smack pretty hard, so you want to take the corner of the magnet flat like that, and then lay it down, and bam, there you go. So, looks great, we'll just set that one over the side for you there, keep that snail company. And uh, they also have other cool shapes like the shelf here which can also be used as a pump cover so if you have a pump or something that you're looking to cover up you can stick this in the corner why don't we slide this guy over here as you guys see guys just hang on grab two more magnets You can take this guy, stick him back up here against the overflow box, and you can mount him horizontally like that. Pretty cool. Or, and again, these magnets will smack together so hard they'll break, so be careful. You don't want it smacking on your tank glass too hard. You can put them on like that, and like so, put your pump back here behind it. So instead of having to see an ugly pump, you get to see a beautiful piece of natural live rock. The nice thing about it is that you get all the great properties of rock, uh, especially in a reef aquarium. So you get the uh, natural biological processes that go along with that. And it's not some uh, synthetic rock that doesn't look like the rest of your aquarium. So we have some other cool shapes. This is uh, another really neat piece. I've got some great, this is another example of a rock protrusion. Obviously shelf, rock protrusion. You can take this guy. Stick it on the back of your aquarium here. One magnet. Two magnets. There it is. Again, uh, we'll throw some more shelf pieces on here. You guys can see what this look like. What it looks like. You can move them around, get them any way you want to make everything look nice and contiguous. It's the word of the day. There's another piece. Now, they price this out by the pound, which is pretty cool, and it's pressed out dry, not wet. So it's not like you're buying regular live rock where it's saturated and full of water weight. Um, you get it by the pound, so um, you can buy a little or you can buy a lot. Right there. So. That's basically it. Pretty straightforward, quick, simple idea. We'll stick the shelf on here. This is one of the neat ones that I like. Uh, right for frags and stuff. Bam. You can hear that magnet on the glass again. Be careful with your fingers. Obviously you don't want to crack the, crack the glass either. So. Pretty sweet. And then uh, we've got a piece shaped like a dinosaur head. See there's T-Rex. And uh, just to show you again on the back how it works, stick it on there, take your magnet, gently put it up against the glass, 
And that's it folks. Pretty simple, straightforward. If you want it cured, you can get it cured as well, uh, or you can get it uncured. Fresh or salt water works great. Really cool concept and it holds it on there really well. So it's not like uh, you're going to set a coral frag on there or some fish is going to sit on it and uh, it's going to fall off. So uh, that's it.